Hello and welcome to ModKit. In this episode, we're looking at the excellent second part of the trilogy, Mass Effect 2. Widely regarded as one of the better games in the series, Mass Effect 2 set about streamlining and improving on the original Mass Effect formula. Mass Effect 2 has a great art style and this guide will hopefully show it better. The first section will cover getting the game to run, including basic configuration. Then we'll move on to any customization involving hidden graphical settings. The additional mod section will focus on larger modifications to the game, such as textures and post-processing. The NVIDIA and AMD tweaks will focus on changing graphic control panel settings. These include adding anti-aliasing and ambient occlusion. And finally, a demonstration of the results of this guide. The first thing you'll need to do is get your copy of the game, which is available from Steam, Origin and other retailers. The entire trilogy is available from Origin, including Mass Effect 1, 2 and 3. Also bear in mind that DLC must be purchased separately from the Bioware social website. You will also need to know where you have the game installed. For Steam users you can do this by going to the Steam button at the top left, then go to Settings, Downloads and Steam Library Folders. For Origin users you can find this by going to the Origin button at the top left, choosing Application Settings, Advanced and looking at the first text field. It is suggested that Mass Effect 2 is kept out of the main program files folder. When purchasing Mass Effect 2, Bear in mind that DLC is still fairly expensive for this game. Some add major storyline, while others are more cosmetic. Because of this, suggested DLC will be mentioned later in the guide. Firstly, retail versions will need to patch to 1.02 manually. This can be downloaded from the description. Steam and Origin versions come pre-patched to 1.02. At this point we'll want to start the game launcher choose the configure option. After the configuration menu loads your system settings, choose the video tab. This section controls all of the in-game graphical settings. The first setting to change is the windowed value. Set this to full screen. The aspect ratio should be related to your screen's resolution. In this case 16 by 9 as this is the most common. Choose your native screen resolution, which in my case is 1920 by 1080. High quality bloom should be on. Film grain and motion blur can be set based on personal preference. Dynamic shadows should be set to on. Light environment shadows should be on. Number of cinematic lights should be set to 3. Use of spherical harmonic lighting should be set to on. And anisotropic filtering to 16 times. Once the changes are made, choose Mass Effect 2 and save settings. If you want to import a previous Mass Effect 1 character into Mass Effect 2, you can do this by going to the Save Games tab and clicking the Copy Mass Effect 1 Save Games. From here you'll have to locate your Mass Effect 1 save game directory. This is usually located in the user directory under Documents, Bioware, Mass Effect. Once there, select the Save directory and press OK. Then save the changes. We can now use the Play option on the launcher. If you receive a PhysX error message, you can download the PhysX software from the NVIDIA website. A link is in the description. PhysX is required for both NVIDIA and AMD hardware. With luck the game will now start and you'll be greeted by the EA account login system. An EA account is required to use any DLC within the game. This is the same as your Origin account, or if you do not have one, create a new account at this point. You will then have to enter your Cerberus key. This will usually have been provided via email or within the box. Steam users can find their code by using Shift and Tab. After successfully entering these, exit the game. At this point you'll want to download any DLC you'll want for your playthrough. By going to the Bioware social website and logging in using your Origin account, you'll be able to purchase or download DLC. 
To download the DLC, go to the My Games section, followed by your registered game content. From here scroll to the Mass Effect 2 DLC, and download all those shown. If you decide to buy any of the DLC, the most recommended would be The Arrival and The Layer of the Shadow Broker, along with the free Cerberus DLC. At this point the base game is installed. This next section will cover any modification. The main game ini file can be found under your username directory in Documents, Bioware, Mass Effect 2, BioGame and Config. Then open GamerSettings.ini. Once here add the values Trilinear equals true, Min Shadow Resolution equals 64, Max Shadow Resolution equals 4096 and Enable High Poly Characters equals true. You can also change the value max character cinematic lighting passes to a higher value. In this case I've chosen 6 although this can have an effect on performance. If you do encounter performance issues it's suggested you remove 4096 and replace it with something like 2048. This section covers the main modifications, the first of which is the better ME2 unofficial patch. This makes a lot of changes and bug fixes to the game, however it does affect gameplay which may not be suitable for people wanting an original experience. Installing better ME2 also allows the use of texture packs, although alternatives are available. To install extract the contents of the better ME2 zip file, open setup.exe and continue through the installation. It should automatically detect your Mass Effect 2 directory. You will also want to install the LAA patch which will allow more memory to be used by the game. To do this open the LAA patch zip file, start laapatch.exe and point it at the Mass Effect 2.exe file in the binaries folder. For texture mods we're using ME Explorer. Bear in mind that this process is quite difficult and takes quite a lot of time to make. First extract ME Explorer using 7-zip, then copy your new folder to the Mass Effect 2 directory. Open me2explorer.exe. Once the program's loaded go to t-explorer and finally choose multi-file mode. This process can take a long time. Once it's finished go to experimental and generate mod from tpf. Select one of the TPF files you will have downloaded. When the files are finally loaded, go to the File menu at the top left and choose Generate Mod. Give the file a relevant name and save it to a directory. Repeat this process for each of the TPF files, creating a pack of mod files. When done, go to Tools, Mod Maker. Choose Jobs and Add Jobs to List. Then select the newly created mod files. The mod file should now appear on the main screen. Finally, choose Run and Run All. This will again take some time to install, but will result in the mods being installed. The final third party mod we're going to be installing is the ME Cinema mod. This mod adds additional post processing effects to the game, and the changes may not be for everyone. You will first need to disable any overlays. For Steam, this can be done by right clicking the game in the Steam library choosing properties and unticking enable steam overlay. For origin right click the game in the origin library, choose game properties, then tick the disable overlay button. From here extract the contents of the ME cinema file. Open till you find the ME2 folder, then copy the contents of the ME2 folder to the binaries folder under Mass Effect 2. When starting the game you should now see EMB at the top left. The effects can be toggled using shift and F12. This next section will focus on NVIDIA and AMD specific configurations. For NVIDIA users we can use NVIDIA Inspector to enable ambient occlusion and anti-aliasing. To do this download NVIDIA Inspector from the description. Once opened push the profiles button, then find the Mass Effect 2 profile at the top left. Change anti-aliasing mode to override, anti-aliasing setting to 2x multi-sampling, 
and anti-aliasing supersampling to two times sparse grid. These can be increased or reduced depending on your computer's performance. Then to enable ambient occlusion, change ambient occlusion compatibility to mass effect. Then change ambient occlusion setting to high quality and ambient occlusion usage to enabled. Once again, you can reduce or disable this depending on performance. Then apply the changes. For AMD users, download, install and run Radeon Pro. Choose the Add Profile button, then select the Mass Effect 2.exe file. Once loaded, tick Anti-Aliasing, followed by selecting Override and two times. Ambient Occlusion is also available but has not been tested. With the use of improved ambient occlusion, anti-aliasing and texture quality, the game really shines during cutscenes and gameplay. Shadows look perfectly crisp and the environment receives much added depth. All of these bringing the game much closer to a Mass Effect 3 experience, or better. Thank you for watching.